What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be looking at GTA San Andreas. Now this game got released today and it's available on Game Pass. So yeah, without any further ado, let's look at that game from more technical perspective, the graphics, performance and that kind of stuff. So first of all, let's talk about the graphics and I must say that they've improved that game big time. I mean, first of all, resolution it's much much higher of course because the original game was running at like 480p i think on playstation 2 obviously there's you know versions on pc which runs at high resolution and stuff but yeah i mean it's nice clean and i can't complain now when it comes to resolution and kind of performance there's actually two modes so if i go to settings and hit on options and then graphics you've got fidelity and performance kind of options right so um it was on performance before so let's switch to fidelity and exit and um yeah the problem is now that the game is 30 frames per second right and you can you know clearly see that like and you should see that in the video as well because i will render it at 4k and 60 frames per second so you should see a difference see a difference now the resolution i don't see much of a difference so i'm not really sure what's going on there here maybe there's a dynamic resolution in play or somewhere here right but yeah i mean let's face it if you go from if you go down from 60 to 30 um that's not really a you know good experience right it's just juddery and that kind of stuff right so and like i don't really see i don't know why they want to kill me now they're trying to shoot me as as you've seen let's just get out of here yeah so i'm not really sure what's going on because like i don't really see much of a difference in terms of resolution um uh, I'm not really going to be doing a uh, pixel counts over here, but like there's still I see some You know shimmering and that kind of stuff over there. So I don't think it's a full flat 4k uh, But hey, I'm not no digital foundry and I'm sure that the digital foundry will co confirm or deny but if we go back to 60 frames per second, you know, and we go back to performance um, basically the resolution is pretty much the same. I don't see any difference at all in terms of resolution and the game is 60 frames per second. So, I mean, like, obviously I just played it for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that's it, right? So I can't really talk about the rest of the game, but you know, it's it's just not worth playing at fidelity um, options, right? Maybe there's some difference to the graphics and that kind of stuff, but like I said, like, at like quick glance i don't see any difference let's just go back to uh, fidelity again i mean you know what like the game looks pretty much the same maybe maybe object den dens density maybe but like textures lighting and everything <clears throat> let's go back again performance no, I mean no change to graphics and the thing is like if you look at these lines uh, there must be some some form of some form of uh, reconstruction going on over here so I'm not really sure I, like I said digital funds will probably say what it's all about same if you look at the trees they are kind of flickering for some reason all these lines actually flickering you should see that even in the youtube video especially if you watch in 4k uh, you should actually see it so that's the graphics like uh, from like resolution and performance uh, it, when it comes to actual performance at 60 it's pretty much fluid um, did you see that these um, shadows flickering as well it's kind of weird this there's, there's quite a lot of like weird artifacts here and there um Oh, this guy, he's just trying, he's been trying to shoot me for whatever reason. Uh, so, um, 
yeah, there's a little bit of like flickering here and there, but like generally speaking, game looks good. And like if you look at the actual cars, um, you know, the reflections looks pretty nice as well. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of cool as well. Um, there's quite a lot of quite a lot of objects. There's a little bit of popping, so yeah, it's still kind of kind of annoying a little bit, but um, yeah, generally speaking, game looks good. Like, you know, I know it's not like it's not like a full remake, and that's not what we would expected. But like, if you compare that to like previous games and stuff, like San Andreas and stuff, right? It's a massive uh, upgrade anyway. First of all, much higher resolution. Uh, textures looks actually pretty nice uh, for, for an old game. 60 frames per second. So far, uh, what I've been playing like like over here, you know, no frame dips um, at all for now. And uh, yeah, no stuttering, at least on Xbox Series X. Not sure what's going on with PlayStation 5. I haven't seen any comparison videos yet, so I won't comment on that. So I'm um, yeah, not you can clearly see there is a uh, quite a bit of a pop in, uh, and <laughs> I know I'm obsessed with that. Sorry guys, and I was talking about Forza Horizon 5 uh, 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 the other day as well, and the pop in. It's kind of uh, I just I just don't like it. Sorry guys. Oh, this car looks cool. Let's, let's borrow it. Yeah, this car is really nice. Hey man, I just want to take it for a ride. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I mean, I like the reflections on the car, uh, on the cars. Um, yeah, but like, guys, like obviously the some of the objects, the CT is pretty much the same or very similar. There's more objects on the screen, that's for sure. Uh, this is not like a full remake, it's just a remaster, so they kind of, I, I, I presume they're using the same engine and they, they just added a number of stuff um, and made it compatible with uh, Xbox and, and, and PlayStation and stuff. So don't expect too much, but like for like game that is like, what, 15 years now? 15 years old it looks pretty good and plays good you know the, the most imp important thing is that everything is nice kind of crisp and uh, sh pretty sharp you know there is a little bit of flickering like you know the shadows and you know these kind of um, juddering juddery, juddery lines and stuff but nothing major a little bit of popping here and there but it's a massive upgrade over the old game anyway you know the the most important thing for me is the actual performance the game is very smooth i've been like running around the city for like um a while now and not a single uh frame rate drop i mean not that i feel it right i mean it's just like maybe there's some small who knows right um like i said digital fund will probably tell us all about it you know pretty soon but so far so good and i'm actually i'm actually enjoying it and I know that I'll be playing it. Obviously, I'll have a full playthrough of the game. So if you want to, you know, check that out, um, check my other channel, Matt's Plays, you will find the link in the description below. Uh, any support would be appreciated in term when it comes to that channel. I just started, uh, you know, I'm just doing playthroughs and live, uh, live shows, you know, lay live gameplay. So if you want to have a chat about games and that kind of stuff, uh, support that channel, uh, go and subscribe if you like that kind of content. I'll be live streaming a lot. Yeah, so uh, I know, um, shameless plug, sorry about that. So yeah, game looks good. I think it's worth it, especially, you know, on uh, Game Pass. If you want to buy and pay full, full price, it's like you're paying full price for the full trilogy. So you are getting like a three games. Uh, I'll be, I'll have test of the other games uh, tomorrow and the next day probably as well. So stay tuned for that. But uh, when it comes to this game, GTA San Andreas, it's pretty good. The lighting improved, the reflections are cool, texture work, resolution, performance. Hey, I mean, I am actually enjoying playing this game right now, right? I know it's not like a next generation graphics and stuff, but game just looks clean, 
game, game looks good for for its age, right? So guys, that's the video. That's uh, my kind of early analysis. Uh, yeah, go and play it. Go test, go check it out on Game Pass. It's there already. Oh, by the way, it's only on Xbox Game Pass, not Game Pass PC. Just wanted to let you know. So I have no idea how that game runs on PC. I guess the sky is a limit. You know, I, I presume that on PC you will even have a better uh, anti-aliasing that kind of stuff so because there's a lot of aliasing over here like I said flick, flickering uh, juddering uh, juddery kind of uh, lines here and there nothing major but it's clearly visible and uh, yeah I mean guys oh damn I nearly hit that car did you see that so yeah cool um anyway I'll shut up now oh I just killed somebody <laughs> um hopefully I'm not going to get arrested well, if you won't see a video from me tomorrow, that means that I'm in jail. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, guys, that's a lot. That's that's the video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. And I'll see you in the next one. Like you said... Oh, Jesus Christ. Did you see? Police came after me already. So <laughs> I better run. Take care, guys. Bye.